Welcome to the first of many of my Warframe weapon and frame videos. Go over the Mark 1 weapons that you get when you first start the game. Since these are Mark 1 and they'll be replaced quickly, I'm not going to bother going into specific stats of them. But you're going to use level 10 enemies because that's about what you'll get when you deal with 4. But they're all completely unmodded as well. Start with the Bratton Mark 1. Bit slow. Take down enemies. Does a nice amount of damage, I guess. At least for the starting weapons. Out of the primaries, I think it's the least first shot. But it has a very large ammo pool, making it not as bad as it could be. And, you know, landing headshots definitely takes them out faster. Probably the most mid of the two, uh, three. Now onto the Paris. The Paris, it's a bow. It definitely is a bit slower. It's, you can fully charge attacks though. So it got some good range. But you can also just quick fire for less damage though one advantage it has over the others is yeah arrows pierce at least fully charged it's got the least arrow pool of the three primaries but most damage output and as long as you can aim you'll probably be fine Next to the threes, let's run. Turns a shotgun. It's, yeah, kind of shit at long range, unsurprisingly. But get nice and close, and can definitely see more numbers pop up. Especially when aiming for the head. But unlike the others, you have to. Wait for the gun to load each shell individually. Which can take some time, though it does have the advantage of in the middle of combat, or in the middle of reloading. If enemies start to come out, you can interrupt loading, still have some ammo. As for the secondaries, you've got the Furious, which is a little machine pistol thing. I think basically an Uzi or something, I guess. Does slightly more than the Bracton in terms of damage, but has about half the ammo capacity. And I think it's a little slower to load, though don't quote me on that. It's not a bad choice either, to be honest. But yeah, you definitely have to Keep an eye on your ammo when using it, since the magazine holds less as well. As for the second secondary, get the kunai, which is just throwing knives. Kunai is good in that it has range too, though the weapon's kind of arc, which you can sort of see if you look somewhat closely as I threw them. At least at the start. They're not as fast as the Funerous, unsurprisingly, but they also do quite a bit more damage. They've also got yeah, about the same amount of backup armor, but less magazine capacity. But I think I like the kunai a little more, personally. That's just me. Guess it's uh, onto the melee, though. Uh, Mark 1 for your axe, fist weapons. Good for if you just want to punch stuff. Come 
completely unmodded without any of the stances. They're not that good. So... I'd say heavy attack's the way to go. So slam attacks aren't too bad either. It doesn't have that much range though, but it's fists. And then also melee, you don't expect either to have that much range. Other option for melee is the bow. So it's just a it's just a stick. That's all it is. Now it also has the thing where you're better off just using Yeah, just using heavy attacks. They take a little wind up, but they do a bit more damage. The bow, unlike the Furax though, has yeah, it's got more range and can sweep as well, so it'll hit multiple enemies, even if they're slightly off to the side. But yeah, as for the Mark 1 weapons, that's all of them. I go to if I were to choose from them, it would be the Paris Kunai and Bow. Anyway, I hope this video helped some new players, and yeah, I'll be doing a more in depth thing of weapons and their stats further along the line. I hope to see you in those, and yeah, hopefully you pick up some new weapons maybe, give them a shot, see what you like, what you don't like, it mostly depends on playstyle. But I'll see you all in the next videos, and enjoy the rest of your day.